1,000 feet, take the Georgetown Pike ramp on the left. Welcome back to the channel, YouTube. So, today we will be taking... Now take the Georgetown Pike ramp on the left. A notorious road called Georgetown Pike. And uh, I've been wanting to make this video for a while now so I can really show you guys and put FSD to the true test. So In 1,000 feet, take exit 44 on the right onto Georgetown Pike. If you may not be aware, Great Falls and Georgetown Pike is a notorious road for its... Now take exit 44 on the right. One lane... Very hilly, curvy. In 1,000 feet, um, turn right onto Georgetown Pike. Really nice neighborhood, by the way. Back here, you get some giant houses. So hopefully now I turn right onto Georgetown Pike. Capture some of that on this drive today. But yeah, welcome to Georgetown Pike. This is FSD. We're conducting the test. We're going to let FSD drive the whole way, starting with now. Okay, nice job. All right, here we go. So we're on Georgetown Pike, FSD is in control. Mind you, these are some of the bendiest roads. Um, this is like a notorious one lane highway. One of the first highways in Northern Virginia. Um, they really try to keep the nature preserved back here. So it's, it, it's, it's a beautiful drive. This is typically one of my favorite drives, but you know, you do hear about a lot of car accidents back here, people speeding, you know, so this is the first time we're taking FSD through it, so we're going to let FSD handle the entire way. Hopefully I don't have to take over, but if I do, I will, um, because there are some real notorious turns over here that I honestly don't think it's going to be able to handle does I will be pleasantly surprised starting with this first one coming up now so this is gonna be the start to the turn here FSD already slowing down caught it nicely here speed limit 35 it took it at 30 and then here we go for the second half pretty well all right that's just the beginning guys so the turns get steeper and curvier as we go so bear with me we're looking at let's see you know at about a 20 minute drive but for the Georgetown Pike part we're looking at about 12 to 15 minutes so this is going to be one of the most difficult turns and now I'm not going to even scroll the wheel. I'm going to see, will FSD slow down for this turn? It did. Good job. It went down to 27, suggested 25. Okay, so that was one of the turns I was really afraid about. Here's the second part. Good job. Wow, okay. I, I would have really thought that I would have to have taken over by now, but... Um, so far we're about a quarter away and I started my journey from 495 if you're familiar with this area I hopped on Georgetown Pike from 495 and I'm gonna take it all the way to Route 7 so Pretty much the main area um, You know the most notorious parts of it. I guess you could say There's a really nice park back here too for any uh, buddy that's not from this area. If you ever get out to uh, beautiful Northern Virginia, they have a, a nice park out here called Great Falls Park. And uh, it's a bunch of uh, waterfalls and there's the Potomac River and nice rocks for you to climb, picnic area for the family. On the other side of the river is the state of Maryland, which is right there. So we, we I'm right in between basically DC and Maryland and I'm in Virginia so hence DMV 
Wow, so really impressed so far. I have to say, this was my most concern road. <laughs> I really didn't think FSD would be able to handle this, but so far so good. I've seen another Tesla, so hey. I mean, the straightaway parts, of course, you know, I know it's good on, but it's some of those real bendy, curvy, hilly parts. That pretty much ends when you hit the in-town Great Falls, and you're gonna see a sign where the speed limit goes from 35 to 25. After that, oh, look at that, interesting. Almost had to take over there, but did not. So after, once the speed limit hits 25, it's pretty much a straightaway. So I'll probably stop the video once we get in town to uh, Great Falls because we, have, we will hopefully have passed all of the, now you can see this really bendy um, advised turn to slow down, slow down. Okay, nice, it's slowed down, okay. Handle, wow, okay. That was a little scary to sit through, but it did it. It kind of did it last second, which is why I was like, slow down, but it did it nonetheless. I was ready to take over again in case it needed me to, but I, I kind of like to see what it's capable of also. Plus, um, they say as a early access beta tester, I'm, I'm providing data back to Tesla and that gets provided to all the cars on the road. So hopefully the next car coming through this area, you know, uses my data, I guess, to drive safer. I hope so, because these are some cut roads back here. All right, now we got some construction and that is where I don't trust FSD because sometimes it doesn't know what to do. All right, this is another turn, 25 miles an hour. It's saying to slow down, we're gonna let it go. Here we go. Ooh, okay, kinda sharp. This one even sharper. Nice, okay, very nice, very nice. All right, I think we're coming up on the sharpest turn of the drive. Thanks for making it this far, guys. I appreciate you guys being in the car with me. Hit that like button if you haven't already. And subscribe, please. Here we go. Look at that. Wow. So if anyone's familiar, we're passing Difficult Run here to our left. Which, you know, if you know that turn right there, that, that is the turn. That's the hardest turn. Even humans have trouble making that turn. Honestly, like everyone slows down on that turn. That turn is what causes major traffic back here. Um, so far for it to even handle it to this point, I, I have to give it major props. Okay, don't get all cocky on me now. FSD. But you did good. You handled some pretty intense turns so far, I gotta say. Not bad. Plus, you know, I've been maintaining the speed limit, obviously, on back roads like this, you know, with motorcycles going. I don't suggest speeding, it's never a good idea. Safety first, people, safety first. All right, good stop. To the right of us is the actual Great Falls Park. So if you were to go there, you would turn here and there's a big parking lot before you get to the river. So you can park, get your backpack and your suntan lotion on and your picnic gear and whatnot. And man, now I really want to go to Great Falls. I think I'll have to make a trip here soon before, of course, summer is over. Definitely. All right, well, good job so far handling all of that. We are getting pretty close to the, where the speed limit changes and we get in town, so 
that's where we have like shops and whatnot. So I know FSD can handle those roads because they're they're pretty much straightaways. It was this part of the journey that I was kind of concerned about. But you know what? It was quite impressive today. And I'm glad it's a nice, beautiful, sunny day. It's 82 degrees outside right now. I got a 59% state of charge. I'm actually about to go hit a charger up at the house, of course, when I get back. So yeah, as you can see, FSD was able to handle the most notorious road in Northern Virginia. There's one other road actually, now that I think about it. It's uh, probably Braddock Road, which hey, new video coming up soon for you all. I'm gonna have to go through some of the most notorious spots of Braddock Road. And uh, definitely I'm looking forward to doing Skyline Drive for any locals um, watching this video, um, stay tuned. I'm gonna try to get FSD to take on Skyline Drive soon once I can plan a trip down there. It's about an hour or so away from where I'm at, uh, but I, I know that's gonna be a real fun time anytime I get a chance to go out there. Plus, since I got FSD, I haven't been out that way, so I would love to see how it handles. So now that we've done Georgetown Pike, um, definitely gonna try to get Braddock Road for you guys pretty soon next time I'm out